Today we're looking at the best red glove knife combo on CS2. Let's get into it. So starting off, guys, we have the specialist gloves Crimson Web. Now these are in field tested and uh, yeah, I mean, they just look really, really nice. And uh, if you haven't already guessed what knife we're going to be going with, it is a Huntsman Knife Crimson Web. I mean, guys, come on, like you've got to pair the web with the web uh, when you can. And uh, yeah, I mean, this Crimson Web looks like super, super kind of bright, the red uh, compared to CSGO. I will put on the screen the uh the csgo like glove knife in game like look so you guys can kind of see but obviously stuff will look a bit different in cs2 which is why i've gone with some of the choices i've gone with so yeah guys over on steam uh for a field tested pair they're around about 350 bucks um of course guys as always check the description down below for any affiliate sites that i'm partnered up with because you can get skins for like 30% off, uh, yeah, if you use those compared to buying them on the Steam market. But yeah, around about $350 on Steam. Um, how much would that be? Maybe like $250 to $300 on third parties. And then for the knife in minimal wear, the Huntsman Knife Crimson Web. Uh, yeah, this goes for, again, like kind of similarish range. Uh, I kind of have started off with a more like budget kind of combo. I mean, guys, none of these combos are going to be like super, super budget because it's red. Red is a lot of people's favorite color. People like skins that are red. So none of these are going to be cheap, but we're going to ramp up. So this is like one of the cheapest pairs. Yeah, on Steam though, 394. Uh, if you want like a low float, you're probably going to have to pay more like 500. So if you wanted like a lowish float, nice looking one, where it almost looks fact new, um, on third parties might be like 400-ish. But uh, I'll leave that up to you guys. Before we continue with the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is TradeIt.gg. As I go over why TradeIt is such a good site, I'll complete a trade to show how easy it is to use. Not only is TradeIt an automated trading site where you can buy, trade, and sell skins from multiple games, such as CSGO, Rust, and more, it also has the lowest trading fees on the market. They also have up to a 40% discount on skins on their store, and in case you don't have any skins to trade, are now running a 35% top-up bonus offer, which is as simple as this to complete. You'll also be entered into regular giveaways every time you purchase or trade an item on the site. So what are you waiting for? Check out Trade It using the top link in the description and grab yourself some epic deals. But yeah, let's get back to the video. Next up, guys, we have the Hand Wrap Slaughter, along with a Stiletto Knife Slaughter, which on CS2, if we have a look in this lighting, guys, especially in-game, it almost looks more like a ruby. I don't know, Slaughters, in my opinion, have been massively buffed same with a lot of the like old like og kind of patterns like the fade etc etc but yeah this looks super super nice with the hand wraps in game and over on steam in field tested these go for around about like 300 and i'd say like 325 if you want to get like a lowish float one maybe close to 350 but of course check third parties and then the stiletto knife slaughter i mean guys stiletto knives have gone up so much like since they were first i remember when these were hella hella cheap but, uh, yeah, okay, now, like, for a decent, uh, decent one, like, six, let's say, like, let, let's say, like, I'd say around about 700-ish. I mean, these two sales are kind of expensive. These are, like, 600, maybe, like, 650 to 700. Again, check third parties. That's, yeah, yeah I mean, you, you, I think you guys get it by now. For the next combo, we have the Moto Gloves Blood Pressure, which is a bit of a weird one because not everyone likes Moto Gloves, but look at how these look in CS2, like, just the, the red on them, the colors, like the black and the, I, I don't know. It just, in my opinion, looks really, really nice. And with that, I have gone with the M9 Bayonet Crimson Web in field tested. Now, you could get a Minwear one, but again, I'm trying to keep these a tiny bit more budget. As long as you get a low float one, though, it still looks pretty decent. But just like the Moto Gloves, the red on these looks brighter uh, than it does in CSGO. So, yeah, that's kind of why I went with this. Um, also, obviously, on the Moto Gloves, you've got like the little circle patterns. They're not webs, but... It still kind of goes with the uh, the Crimson Web. And uh, yeah, that's why I put it on the list. Over on Steam, the blood pressures in Minwear go for around like 630, 620, maybe a bit higher. It kind of depends. As I say, try and get a really nice float. Um, you might be able to get like a 0 0.12 or something like that for a similar price. So uh, sometimes, you know, just check on all the sites. Make sure you find a good deal. And uh, yeah, you won't be disappointed. And then, yeah, same can be said for the, uh, the M9 Crimson Web. Maybe look for one with some webs on. Um, maybe look for as low a float as possible so that you don't have as many scrapes. Uh, but as we can see, like, there's been a lot of... Like, these are probably low float ones selling on the Steam Marketplace, like 1,100, uh, 1,200. But in general, yeah, like 820, 800-ish. Um, so I would say on third parties, you could probably find one for around, like, just under $1,000 or something. I don't know. You guys are going to need to look um, and maybe just be patient. But, uh... Yeah, as a glove knife combo, I think these are really, really nice. For the next pair, guys, we have the Sports Love Slingshot, which in CS2, I think these look insane. Like, because of the color changes and lighting changes, 
just look at them. Like, they look so, so good. And a lot of the time, I, like, I remember when these were really budget because people didn't really like the color of this. Uh, but this goes really well with the knife that I'm going to pull up, which is the Talon Knife Slaughter. So obviously, on the gloves, we've got this kind of similar-ish color. So as a combo, I think any of the slaughters or any talons with this handle go really well with something like the slingshots. And obviously, yeah, like the slaughter guys, it almost looks like a ruby. Uh, in my opinion, for CS2. So, yeah, the Talon Knife, another really, really nice knife. Obviously, you can swap these out if you guys want. And uh, please do let me know in the comments down below if you think I've missed any, if you'd swap any of these out. We could maybe even do a part two. So, uh, yeah, just let me know down below. But, yeah, I would also say get a factory new uh, slaughter because, yeah, if you get minware, like, you can get little scrapes on the blade. And, I don't know, I feel like if you're going to go for, like, a really nice baller combo, then, uh, like this one, then, yeah, just, just go for fact new. Like, it, it just makes sense. On Steam, in field tested, these go for like 1,200-ish, which is just nuts. Like maybe high 900s. Uh, so on third parties, you can get like 30% off, as I said. Um, but yeah, you do want to get a lowish float field tested if you're going to get field tested. That's the same with anything in this game. Any of the inspects, I'm looking at low float field tested because obviously they just look nicer. They're almost minware, but a lot cheaper generally. Um, okay, boom. And then, yeah, for the knife, yeah, factory new for sure, um, which uh, on Steam, again, it's like around about the same kind of cost, like $1,000. So, guys, these definitely aren't the most budget glove knife combos. I'm just going for some of the best ones for CS2. Uh, but, yeah, as I said, let me know if I'm missing any or if you'd rather, like, switch stuff out down in the comments below. And, guys, for the last glove knife combo, I am going with the Specialist Gloves Crimson Kimono. And if you guys didn't know... These are actually the special uh, number two pattern. I like these aren't like the best of the best. If you guys want, you can actually look at this. Uh, so for example, these are tier twos um, and they are number 90. Um, and I'll show you why in a sec. Uh, but yeah, all you have to do is type in like this on Google, the complete Crimson Kimono Guide. You can literally just type in Crimson Kimono Guide and it'll come up showing you guys all the different ones. Obviously, this is meant to be like the best like end game. Uh, glove knife combo for red that i'm showing you guys so if you have like unlimited funds then sure go for like a tier one uh but realistically you're probably gonna go for a tier two um if you did, like don't want to spend like a crazy amount but you still want them to look pretty much perfect and of course guys i've gone with the karambit doppler um this has a terrible corner i've just realized so obviously again if you have the funds and you want to have like the best red glove knife combo then go for one with a good corner um but i can leave that up to you guys i mean yeah, you'd have to do your own research when buying. But yeah, over on Steam, I mean, I've got the field tested ones up. I meant to get up the minware, but it kind of doesn't matter because this this is irrelevant. It depends. If you don't want like the best pattern ones, then yeah, go for like a low float field tested. You could probably get them for like just under 2,000. I mean, they're expensive. Oh, wait, no, this is wrong. What am I saying? I mean, yeah, you're not going to get them on Steam anyway. Um, you'd have to get them on a third party marketplace like I've been saying. And then, yeah, for the Karambit as well, like, you're not going to get a Ruby on Steam. So, yeah, basically, Steam is irrelevant at this point. What you want to be looking at is something like Buff. So, those Minware ones that I looked at in-game, they're currently up for $10,000. But, yeah, I mean, guys, if you're going for, like, a super expensive pair of gloves, then, yeah, or, or quote-unquote, the best combo, you're going to have to spend, like, crazy, crazy money if you want, like, a super rare pattern like this. Because, I mean, yeah, it just looks insane. Um... And then, yeah, same. I don't know, like, on buff, it just shows the sapphire. But, yeah, for the rubies, the cheapest you're going to go is, uh, yeah, like, close to $9,000. And then, of course, if you're buying as well, you'd probably want to look through here and check the corners because, like, some of these corners are terrible. Um, this is a bit better, I suppose, on the, uh, the place that it's still got a bit of a chip there. So, uh, yeah, you'd have to look through all of these. Um, and, yeah, it, it would take a while. And, you, like, like, now we're going into the $9,000 territory, like, actually over 9000 all my days. Yeah, it, it just gets a bit twisted, guys. I mean, honestly, like, for example, I think, yeah, these were these, this is okay, but it's, yeah, like $9,000. So it's like a $19,000 combo um, if you really want, like, the best of the best. Again, though, it's personal preference at the end of the day. Maybe you don't like the Crambit. Maybe you don't like the Ruby. But I think, yeah, honestly, like, for, like, rarity-wise and looks-wise, the Crimson Kimono and the Ruby Crambit, like, you can't really go wrong. You could go the Butterfly Ruby if you prefer that. Um, but yeah, it's just completely up to you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on my daily live stream where I do daily giveaways. See you later, guys.